Um, well, you were, you were talking about the number of Egyptians that are facing military trials mm -hmm. and talking with various people when I would ask, well, what about the non-military judicial branch? Um, how independent are they within the current environment? Uh, people tended to invest a lot in them in terms of observing the elections. But how independent are they if there's no constitution and the military is de facto running everything? Well, actually, uh, the civilian trial is not... Uh it's not much better, definitely no, actually, it's much better than the military trial, but it's not the best, uh, the best thing in the war. Uh, for instance, that you have the right to appeal, actually, uh, and your trial will not uh, last for maybe two hours and then have a verdict for three or five years uh, in jail. So, military trials, actually, from my perspective, they don't understand the law, they don't know the law, actually. They, in the, according to the law, they, uh, it's stated that they have to be, uh, carry a law degree. And yes, they could carry a law degree, but they don't have any, uh, any idea about the law, the, criminal, the procedures of the criminal law, or anything. For instance, they don't uh, deal with the forensic medicine. If I'm killing someone and uh, the, the, ev uh, the evidence should be for uh, uh, go first for the forensic medicine and then uh, uh, come, come again to the uh, to the trial. Mm -hmm. They don't deal with the forensic medicine. They don't <coughs> count the uh, criminal procedures. Uh, and I think that the verdict is not only uh, it's it's not uh, based on the legal background. It's based on the political background. Some and, and some and somehow, mm. even if they are going, uh, if, even they have a criminal. Uh, if there is a criminal uh, stand from the uh, 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 military trials, and he took uh, uh, three or five years. It, this is have a uh, political impact. Uh, impact actually that. Uh, to threaten the other criminals not to do crimes or not to commit any crimes. So they are not abiding by the law, actually. They are uh, maybe abiding by something else. But uh, there is no any guarantees in front of the military trials, which is uh, stated in, uh, in the civil trials. So uh, actually they are officers and they taking orders from an officer who is ranked higher than them, so uh, they are not independent at all, actually. I'd like to ask a question to you. Is it uh, normal that in the United States somebody who is civilian can be dragged to a military trial? Now they can, thanks to the reforms during the Bush era. Okay. I just ask because in Germany you have no military, military